Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War, Long War of the Chosen 2. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man uh, run of this beautiful mod. We are still in month number three and missions are just piling in. This mission here particularly is um, uh, going to help us to free three resistance operatives and three rookies. That's exactly what we need. So we gotta make sure that we're not screwing it up. We got our A team in here, so nothing should go wrong. I'm actually expecting quite a steamroll. So let's uh, give it a go, guys, and uh, test our new toys, shall we? So here we are back in yet another jailbreak. By the way, if you ask yourself, uh, why are the missions so easy? Oh, wait for it. They will become substantially harder um, over time. I remember many, many times thinking after like three months, oh gosh, long war is super easy. And then further four months in the run, I was like, you gotta be more humble, dude. Because the game just crushed you. You know, in fairness, it, it actually becomes um, difficult over time. So we just need to give it... Uh, we just need uh, the aliens uh, to build up their power a little bit more. Usually what happens is, uh, as you progress... There we go. Pack of them on top of the roof. As you progress... Um, there are quite a few uh, improvements that the aliens are taking over time. Specifically, if you're winning uh, missions hard, then the vigilance in an area will grow and they will start shifting troops towards that area. So that's the local strength of the area. Um, of course, that takes some time, so it's not happening immediately. Uh, so a month or two down the road, uh, you will immediately see. Uh, you will then see that the uh, that the um, force in the specific region goes substantially up. So it can go up way more than um, fifteen, even up to twenty. Um, and believe me, once the force is at that high level, then even fully infiltrated missions like the ones that we're currently doing, um, essentially. Um, we'll start with a baseline of like uh, I think 22, 24 um, enemies. All right, guys, bring it on. Yep, no problem, we can cover these two as well. We'll be able to finish um, the mech in a second. Let's first of all get a view on the guys down here. You know what? We do have armor penetrating rounds, right? And this could even be a kill. Okay, well, that was easier than expected. Upping our defense. Starting to charge in. And time to eliminate the stun monster. Oh, we can't get down there. I was somewhat banking on the fact that we can simply jump down, but I haven't checked whether or not that's the case, okay? Well, certainly my bad. Need a light? 
that's going to take care of both of them. We're taking the loot here. Superior conditioning, that's good. That will be a few uh, days uh, recovery. It's just going to delay the uh, infiltration a little bit. Okay, let's deal with the Overwatch. So we got four down, that's number five, and we had like what? Overall uh, seven to nine, which means there's probably most likely one more pack. Okay, got one additional focus. Good loot. Moving to position. And we could get another PCS for forty percent, which we're most likely going to do. Moving back up. And I think that's the last pick. Okay, let's start with the mech, that's the obvious target here. Oh, yeah. Thanks to our autoloader, we're going to get that one down. No a Purifier is a bit more difficult. be a kill. Nope. We're not immune to fire is the problem. The explosion would hurt us. Moving everyone into full cover. I can 
As soon as we do have an immunity to fire, I don't mind them at all. And that's a problem. Now we gotta hunker down. Or alternatively, since we finally can use the gremlin to heal. Zirkin can actually move to here, far enough away to not be affected by the explosion. And finish this guy. Good, Edgar and Poe needs to move in. Reload, Overwatch. There's still an alien somewhere. Oh, look at you. Well, luckily we overwatched. I must have miscounted. So I was not I wasn't expecting three of them here. And there is there is another rein, um, reinforcements incoming. Okay, we're going to be swift here. Zirkim can kill uh, this guy. Um, who's the best target for our sniper? Might as well see if we can kill uh, the Viper. Fortunately, can't. Oh, I would need to go further in in order to hack uh, my bad. Edgar Alien shouldn't shouldn't be the one killing her. My ammo's running low. So we're only looking at five to six, which means we gotta Yeah, we, we would need to soften up the Viper. Moving over here, let's see if my plan works out. Double barrel. Yep, worked pretty well. That's 50 supplies right there. We might crit, I'm not sure. We're getting focus uh, from it at least. I didn't want to use run and gun, but before the reinforcements are incoming, I like to clean everyone up. Me some ammo. 
Might as well parry. Yeah, those guys should not pose any significant threat. Edgar Alien needs to definitely move now and f uh, and start hacking. Renman moves over here. So? Good. Nope, Edgar Alien needs to definitely do something else. Sniper can't see anyone, that's of course always a perfect situation. Zirkim. Eliminates that guy. Thank you. <clears throat> Which means Fury can eliminate the other one. And that takes care of about the reinforcements. Okay, Edgar Allan Poe. Gets in here and we'll do the hack next turn. We still have plenty of time. Wait, 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 wait. Why can they already uh, move? We haven't even opened the door yet. Yeah, let's end the turn. I really want Edgar Alien to open the door. Apparently there seems to be at least one alien, maybe a faceless one. Good, we can still open the door, that's important. <clears throat> Let's take the intel. Great, that's probably 25 intel. And we got an extra PCS on top of it. Okay, cool. Thank you, Edgar. Very helpful. I'm all over it. We're green to go. Good. Everyone starts to move down to the extraction point. Wow, 
Wow, that's going to be a very rewarding mission. Three rookies, three rebels, PCS, Intel. Thanks, Redford. There's one more set of uh, reinforcements coming in. Well, some of the rebels are a bit slower. Status confirmed. We've secured a civilian contact. Good, Sirkim moves out here. Got an overwatch from our sniper. Roby moves over here. We're getting one more set of reinforcements. Edgar Alien Poe simply double moves. That's probably the last drone or something. Or face this one, I don't know. The reinforcements are getting slightly stronger. Simply more hit points and more advanced units. And also more in terms of more units. can get everyone out. At this point it's just a matter of running it down. Alright, let's get everyone out, out of here. No need to kill the remaining reinforcements. Unfortunately, not a flawless mission. That's the only thing that uh, wasn't completely perfect. Everything else was really, really executed well. Let's see how many days in the sick bay. I would say probably four. There we go. So she didn't even she did not even uh, take that much of a wound. Apparently, she just shrugged it off. Roby. We'll get formidable because it is just so important to have enough defensive cover.
And Zirkem as a staff sergeant will probably get fortify. We'll get executioner a little bit later. Like I said, always defensive uh, items first, specifically if you like your uh, soldiers. So, 25 inter, like I was saying, three hit points superior conditioning, a single hit point normal conditioning, Alarium core, uh, alien cash. Yep, yep, yep. That's great. I like it. And we got three rookies. So let's take a good look at the options that we that we have available. First and foremost, um, Edgar Alien Poe, who currently has conditioning. Uh, I would be inclined to give him superior conditioning. It will destroy the conditioning PCS, which sucks, but the superior conditioning PCS is kind of his final form. Um, I like the extra hit points on uh, him. Hmm. Yeah, let's go for it. I really normally am not doing that, but um, he has low hit points and I need him with a lot of hit points. Uh, now, apparently, currently he has probably some of the most hit points, so that's that's going to be great. Uh, he is deeply wounded. Where uh, where's the next um, specialist? Here we go. He already has a PCS, which brings us to well, just had him. Which brings us to the next specialist, because we got a normal conditioning as well. Oh yeah, Bob Ross just joined us. Oh, and we gave him hacking. Damn it! Let me double check. I want to put the PCSs to good use. All right, found someone who could definitely use it. Yeah, we're giving her the conditioning one. Let me go through the shinobis real quick. There we go. Yet another one who could um, who could use a bit extra help. So specifically when they are being spotted out, the reduction of damage for two turns can help him quite a bit as a melee uh, character that will be helpful and now off to the sharpshooters yeah we're going to give him uh, depth perception and there's <clears throat> another sharpshooter right here who's currently on a mission there we go I just need to remember to give him the PCS afterwards. The uh, uh, second thing that we need to do with our soldiers is we got a, a couple of rookies. High speed rookie uh, with a lot of dodge but shitty aim. Um, we got average aim across the board. So let's take our look into the classes that we that we would need. I still want one more specialist, probably one more shinobi, and we only have two rangers, so maybe one more ranger. Could also imagine to take another grenadier. Yeah, let's. Let's settle for one more ranger, one more shinobi, and one more specialist. I think that'll be fine. I do have ideas wh uh, whom we're going to get afterwards, but for now that's good. Um,
in terms of who's getting who's going to go for what um, I would say Hakiba with the aim here is going to be the Ranger Okoro is going to be the specialist and this is going to be our shinobi low health doesn't really matter all too much unless the shinobi is detected in which case then yes it matters i immediately forgot the names oh my god so habika uh for um Chimombo for uh, for uh, for Shinobi and Abio for Specialist. Okay. There we go. Shinobi and Abio is becoming a specialist. Good. Like I said, that was pretty, pretty successful. Um, we could try to upgrade the power relay even further. That's 60 right there. And laboratory for another 60. Uh, what else do we need? We need another laboratory spot, uh, power relay upgrade. Oh yeah, we wanted uh, proving grounds to start creating hazmat vests and other uh, stuff. Um, I think we should really go for the proving grounds. Yes, we can produce a lot of the items there. And specifically, hazmat vests um, are pretty damn good. Sixty right there. Good, of course we have pushed them to the limit. We finally got some money and I want to build all of the urban buildings so we can speed up our progress. Now, we just said that we have way too little missions. I think the time for supplies is over. It's a good time to get back into The Intel. Gosh damn it. Intel. Why can't I change the last one from hiding to some something else? So apparently they have more, for whatever reason, they now do have more uh, mm, more operatives than they could, uh, that, than the maximum could hold. So the 14th can't be directed. Interesting. We're going for full intel again, which will slow down our progress in research a bit. But we'll um, find new missions, which should make up for it.
Okay, in terms of new engineers, because we just freed up two of them, there you go. Continue excavation. And start excavation there. The rest is building fast enough. Good, next up I mentioned that I wanted to launch the infiltration here. Might as well directly start with that. Our top team is ready for it. One second. Good, here we go. So, we still want to continue with the Liberation uh, piece and we originally started with exactly that team here. Going to, uh, to do it again. So let's continue searching. Well, that is not. Wait, 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 wait. Do we need to launch that or did I just click on it? I wanted to continue scanning in that area. Is it a must launch or. Um... Oh yeah, it, yeah, it is. Good, so... Ah yeah, I remember. We fielded a massive team here and wanted to do a smash, uh, smash and grab mission. Which, by the way, once this is over, we definitely need to scan for additional missions because now everyone is out of a mission except the one infiltration uh, mission that we do have going, so... It's pretty good that we use our scientists to uh, to thoroughly um, start searching. So this mission here is probably the last one of the bulk that we have infiltrated now. It's a smash and grab mission that we're going to see in the next uh, episode. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you like the content, leave a comment down below or a like. Both is very much appreciated. See you in the next mission and bye bye.